Serious stuff. This is one of the post offices. Post offices. The sky and the weather has been gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of the Hermitage with the ornate. <laughs> Mom got caught. Watch your step down. The sky looks so big. I think it's Bobby. Hello. Guys, gorgeous. Mm, the well, we went to dinner, and then my mom had to go get more gelato, like every night. Well, we didn't last night, but... We did not. We didn't. Did you have a good day today? <coughs> Who? You. Yes, I did. <laughs> Who else am I talking to? I don't know. You must Who? be... Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> like a little owl? I'm over here I'm talking to myself. Are you really? No. I'm vlogging oh. to end the vlog for the day. Oh, Lord. I thought it blew up. <laughs> Our tour guide just stopped and talked for like 20 minutes. And I'm like, for somebody who's orange, like I can't pay attention, but I tried to be respectful. And I learned way too much history and way too many numbers about Venice. And I would have liked to have seen more, but we're packing up and we're leaving to go to Florence tomorrow. So we're excited for that. But this time we got a private uh, water taxi transfer. So we're not going to be pushing our four big ass bags and tripping over them this time. So it's definitely worth the investment. <laughs> it's our last morning in Venice at Loundra Palace. So a few things like I don't know if I showed you guys the key here, but it's really different. And they have a lot of sweets. Like, it looks like Gigi's cupcake for breakfast. <laughs> I just had to get one to take a picture. And then that's the breakfast area. And then some people are sitting outside. We were going to sit outside, but then immediately need to sit down and of course a bug comes right towards me and I'm like nope we're going back inside even though there's so much bread and carbs on the buffet they still bring me the socks every morning and that is a big ass cruise ship That is a big show. Early this morning, my mom's like, oh, there's a big boat. There's a big boat. Come see. It was not a big boat at all. And then just now at breakfast, she's like, oh, there's a big boat. A big boat. And I'm like, mom, I'm not turning around for a small boat. And then I turned around and it really was a big ass boat. <laughs> I think people in Italy think me and my mom are crazy. We have so many bags. That's not even all of them. My mom still has 
another bag in there, and then our purses. But when you're traveling for two weeks and for work, I don't have a shopping problem at all. It's just, I have it as equipment. It's crazy. And all the bellmen that help, they're like, oh, shopping. You have fun shopping. We're like, no, we, we didn't go shopping. But it's a nice thought. They just see women and they assume it's really cute. So it's very busy this morning in Venice. Lots of boats out there. But the weather is beautiful. The sun is shining. And we're about to head back to the train station. And we are not missing our train this time. We're on a water taxi headed to the train station. I am sitting up front. There's my mom back there taking pictures. Whew. It's really choppy and we're really close to the water. But we're driving really slow. So I'm trying to just breathe. your luggage. So much better. Back at the train station. And buddy, this time we are standing right here in front of this effing board. And we are going to watch for our number because it hasn't been assigned yet. So we're going to watch for the platform number. Now we know this is a much better experience than the, the other time because we just kind of looked lost and this time we had a very nice gentleman that like carried our luggage told us where to go <clears throat> you know you have to pay for all this taxi stuff but I'm so glad that I got a ton of euros to bring over because it's just worth it when you have a bunch of shit <laughs> I think people think we're we're crazy with all like it's just actually humorous. My mom's like, how are we going to get all this stuff back? I'm like, well, I kind of plan to buy another bag in Florence because in Florence they make, that's the factory where the leather products are made. So I'm like, I'll just buy another bag and check it. And that will make our experience flying home much, much more easy.